Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To open the calendar and display a specific date using the date navigator, first open the calendar folder. Then use the previous month and next month arrows that appear within the date navigator to move through the months until the date that you want to select appears. You could also click directly on the month heading itself that appears in the date navigator to select from either the three previous months or the three next months which appear in a pop-up menu. Now after selecting the month, just click on the specific day within the date navigator that you want to display in the actual calendar window. In the date navigator, the current day will always appear with a red box around it. Now you can also select a specific date using the Go to Date dialog box. If using Outlook 2010, click the Go to Date dialog box launcher in the lower right corner of the Go to group on the Home tab in the ribbon. If using Outlook 2007, select Go and then choose Go to Date from the menu bar to display this same dialog box. This launches the Go to Date dialog box from which you can select a date from the drop down date navigator that appears at the right end of the date text box. You can also select a display view for that date from the drop down arrow list at the right end of the show in text box. Just click OK to jump to that date with the display that you've selected. After having moved to a different date, if you want to return to the current day within the calendar folder, you can click the Today button that appears in the Go To group on the Home tab in the ribbon in Outlook 2010, or in the Standard Toolbar in Outlook 2007 when your calendar folder is displayed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.